everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a haul video today. Um, just some bits I got in Hobbycraft. So I bought another set of these dies because my mum wanted them. So I'm going to put that in her stocking for Christmas. I picked up these sparkly tree buttons. They were veneer buttons with glitter on and silver and pale blue. And then I picked up these bauble snowflake with veneers and silver again. And these were reduced to a pound. Then I picked up this tree die. And sorry about the glare. Um, let's see if this helps. No, that makes it worse. Oh well. Um, yeah, you get a little present and you get a star and a bow. And I think that was a pound as well. Let me check. I've got the receipt here. Yeah, those were a pound. And I got this Jingle All The Way sentiment die. Thought that would be really cute for a um, small card. And they also had um, their glitter cardstock half price. So I picked up this white, which has got um, kind of like a green, I don't know if you can see it on the video. It's got a slight green tint, greeny pink. That was two pounds, I think, for the A5. Oh, I picked up this magazine. I think I bought this in Morrison's, and it was five ninety nine. And it's issue one hundred and ninety of card making and paper craft. And it comes with this stamp set with all this foliage and, and some of it doesn't even have to be Christmas so I like these, they remind me of the clearly besotted stamps. Anyway, I picked that up. Um, and then the rest of the things I got were mainly glitter cardstock and some jewellery making bits. Um, so I got the dark silver. And that was reduced to three pounds. Then I picked up two packs of the silver, and the silver is my favourite because you can colour over it with your pro markers and make it any colour you want. So I use silver the most. And the only colour I can't do with my pro markers is gold because the gold pro marker colour is actually quite yellow so I picked up the champagne colour and again these were three pounds and this is a really nice gold it's not too yellowy and I don't like the brassy yellowy kind of gold and this is a lovely champagne colour so I picked up that then I picked up some head pins and these are the short ones, I need to get some longer ones. I got some junk rings in the gunmetal colour and silver. And then I got gunmetal earring hooks and I think these are silver plated. And then I got some head pins in the gunmetal and just some um ring clasps in the gunmetal because I didn't have any of them and that was everything that I bought in the shop and then I can't remember if I've shown this to you guys or not I don't think I have uh, sorry if I have I got this from Aldi it's got let me open it It's got three things of washi. It's got this cute design 
with the candy canes and a little foliage. It's got this black and white stars which I absolutely love. And then it's got this teal snowflake design which is really pretty. And that was 99p and it came with a little dispenser which I probably won't use and a gold and silver pen which is great um, yep. and then I picked up this set of tags um, the Merry Christmas tree the snowflakes and the gift wrap and then the nice design on the back with all the foliage presents and a wreath design. I thought you could probably make a um, tag mini album out of that or you could cut out some of the elements and put them on cards and then I picked up this one which is the snowflake design, the deer and some more snowflakes and then on the other side you get this triangle design, this lovely watercolour foliage and some stars. I also picked up this Mickey Mouse cross stitch and that was 2 dollars and I picked up this tissue paper and it comes with these stickers for saying in your presence but I might use them just in my journals really. So it's got a really nice minty green colour and silver and I thought that was quite nice. And then from the Black Friday sale at Hobbycraft, which I think is still going on, I'm not sure, I picked up six of these glue sticks because they had good reviews. And I thought I'd try them out. I'm always running out of glue because I make so much stuff. So I've got six of those. And I bought... Hang on, this is going to be difficult to show. I bought two of these. <laughs> it's hard to get it in camera. <laughs> but basically, it's... Um, a storage box that has got the photo containers inside and I bought two of these and then you get one in each colour of the rainbow and they are just like the photo boxes I use for my ephemera although I think they're a little bit smaller but that's okay and these are on sale for half price, so I got them for £12 and usually they're 24 which is why I grabbed two because I wasn't sure how many I'd need because there's no way I was going to pay £24 for one of these. So yeah, that's what I got in the Black Friday sale. And I also treated myself to some visible image stuff. They had 50% off for Black Friday. But that hasn't arrived yet um, so when that arrives I'll do another video and I thought while I'm on I would show you what I've been making I made I just don't know if you can see very well I'm trying to sort my camera out it's really difficult um, I made this print with a stencil that stencils from the range and this is Distress Oxide in Cracks Pistachio Evergreen Bow and I'm not sure what that colour was. Lucky Clover I think. That was um the second image. It's really hard to see because it's so pale, but you can see it in real life. And then I made Where's the other one gone? Ah, this one I sprayed the back of the stencil with the ink that was left on it and I got a very mushy 
textured one. Uh, that was again a second print of, actually I think it was a third generation of this, which is Cracked Pistachio and Salty Ocean with Blueprint Sketch Stars. And that was the second generation and then this was a very watery messy third generation. Um, this was using up some leftover ink that I stenciled over and this was the first one I tried so I added the ink onto the paper with a finger dauber and um, they look like this so I used one for the blue and one for the green uh, one for the dark blue and one for the light blue sorry and then I stamped the snowflakes and I did all of these using the John Nextdoor media plate and it's basically a, a giant rectangle um, it's like the same material as a stamp so you can put ink on it and then you can add ink or lift it to get different textures and then I just rub my paper over it like I would if I was doing a mono print except for I put several different colours and I've stamped onto it so I get the mirror image when I lift it up if that makes sense um, yeah so that was cool and then this was just a really watery one <laughs> and um, I think this was the back of the stencil it must have been because the stars are white but yeah that's what I was playing with and I also made a little card for my mum which is this one it's um that die that I got from the works uh, the circular one I just had it on my desk this one and um, I did actually paper piece this but <laughs> learn from my mistakes don't do it because all of these um, inside pieces are different shapes and sizes so you have to line it up exactly otherwise you get the wrong ones in the wrong place and it took me a good half an hour so if I was to do this again what I would do is um, use my distress oxides in the background and I used peacock feathers and tumbled glass and I think that was it actually and then I sprayed it with this cosmic shimmer mist which is called sunlight mist it's just like a gold uh, well it's white with gold sheen it's really pretty and I would just um, stick the die cut onto the background and cut around it because I still had to cut around it anyway and um, it'll be so much easier trust me so that's how I made that and I stacked the white one on top of the colored just to add a bit of texture and dimension and I just added a little bow on the top and I don't know if you can see it in the camera but it just adds a really nice gold sheen that shimmer spray and then I stamped using my Distress Oxides in the same colour and I just did the tumble glass in the middle and then the peacock feathers around the outside to get like a variation and then inside I stamped a dove and Peace and Joy at Christmas and I just inked up the little leaf with the peacock feathers so it was green and that, that was the card I made for my mum uh, some other things my mum asked me to make for her was this uh, topper which is um, this textured silver card and then I stamped on it with black ink I heat embossed it with clear and then I used a white gel pen to do the piece and then I added some stardust stickles over the top and that was using this Stampender stamp it used to be on a wood block but I unmounted it 
and I put it on cling foam and now it doesn't take up as much room and I can store it with my other Christmas stamps. So that's everything I've been making I think. I've done a lot of die cutting. Oh that I was gonna say this kind of um, background flints if you don't like them like there's, there's one or two like I'm not really that fond of that one. Um, I would die cut snowflakes out of this and then you get this really cool mottled texture and yeah I just thought I'd share that in case you have any mess ups that you want to use and not waste. So yeah thank you for watching. Um, I will be coming back soon with my Black Friday haul from Visible Image so if you haven't subscribed already please do and hit the notification bell so you can see when my next haul video is up. Thanks for watching. Bye!